Hey guys, it's your old pal Matt. Today we're going to take a look at some more encryption software or uh, ways to password protect your files. I'm going to be taking a look at this a uh, little bit in the future here and there just because it's kind of a uh, more of a relevant subject these days. So, uh the one I'm taking a look at tonight is called Fort it is a cryptography extension for Windows. Uh, if you just do a Google search and you look at Fort Encryption, you click the first link. <clears throat> I'll put a link in the description, but yeah. Anyway, it brings you to this site right here. Give you a little screenshot of what it looks like. Cool thing right here, Windows Explorer integration. Basically, you can right-click. And you will have like a fort extension here where you can encrypt a, f a file or a folder. So let's see what it does. Uh, Windows Explorer integration. It's open source. It uses AES with 256 uh, bit keys. Detects tampering, data tampering. I'm not sure what they're talking about there, but they give an explanation. Uh, it's very lightweight. Yeah, you don't even notice it. Easy to use, easy to install. Uh, multilingual. You can trans translate it to different languages. Optional file backup before encryption, so it will automatically it will encrypt your file and automatically create a backup of it, um, which we'll sh we'll see here in a few minutes. Uh, you can encrypt and decrypt directories as well as individual files. So you, it's also recursive too. So if you have a directory that has hundreds of folders. You can set up in your in your four options to automatically just recursively go through every single directory and file and, and encrypt it. Uh, protect against keylogger supports an on-screen keyboard. You can see over here on that little icon, uh, that little picture right there. It's got a keyboard where you can type in the password via the keyboard if you think you have a uh, like a keylogger. Uh, you can encrypt files in OneDrive, Dropbox, or similar services. That's pretty huge. It supports Almost every supported Windows OS right now. Well, every one. Yeah, Vista through 10. Uh, no backdoors, no malware. I can't say anything about that. I have no idea. Um, and then this stuff goes into some developer junk. Uh, uses only FIPS compliant cri cryptographic modules. And then they give a little why would you want to do that. Why do you want to encrypt your files? Why do you want to encrypt your files? Well, one way is what happens if you put your laptop in your car, somebody steals it, but they're able to just, okay, maybe they don't know your password, but they can pull that hard drive out of your laptop, hook it up to a computer, and grab your files, and just open them. You know, no big deal. So with something like this, as soon as they try to open the file, they can't. For one, it requires this program to be installed. Uh, on the second point, um, you have to know the password to actually get to those files. So let me give you a demonstration. I I've talked long enough here. So let's go ahead and go to Downloads. Now, you may be a little put off by this. He asked for a name, country, and email. You don't have to do that. You can say, just take me to the Downloads. And we can grab the x86 and x64 installer. It's only 2.6 megabytes. It's tiny. And as soon as it downloads, we'll go ahead and install it. Hit finish. Close this. I don't need any more. So here's my little demo. As simple and stupid as it is. I have a little file here, like a little fictitious file called passwords. And I don't want anyone to know my passwords. It's a list of all my passwords to all my websites, uh, you know, all that stuff. So if I take, you know, if I lose this computer, I don't want people to see that. If I take my computer in for a repair, I don't want people to see that. I don't want people who use my computer to see it. You get the idea. So I'll open up passwords. It's just got a stupid fake password, website password. Okay, let's go ahead and encrypt it. Fort, encrypt. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, let's go ahead and go through some settings. So we'll click settings. 
I want to see a, a confirmation after successful encryption. Uh, making a backup is up to you. I don't need one. Uh, that should probably be turned on if you're encrypting um, folders. And I would suggest this one too. Verify passphrase before encryption. So now we get two of these blocks. All right, so let's go ahead and type in my password. In order to read the contents of this file, they must, or I must, know this password. And we will go ahead and say encrypt. So the file's encrypted. Now, it's got this little padlock uh, looking icon. If I drag this file out to my desktop, if I didn't have this installed, it would say passwords dot text dot fort something so if I drag it out to this desktop this this other computer so let's pretend you know I just emailed this to somebody and I'm gonna have to open up my all my icons here hang on all right that's my normal desktop if I try to double click on this file no hang on that's the wrong one yeah that's the current one okay that was an old test. <laughs> All right. Anyway, if I double click on this file, it's going to ask for that passphrase. And, you know, if you're trying to send this this file to somebody, let's say it was important, you, you wanted to encrypt it, email it, and, you know, send it to them, they would have to have Fort installed as well. And then you would have to give them the password. So decrypt it. Now I have the passwords file, and I can open it and use it like normal. Uh, let's say this person wanted to, you know, make a change, uh, you know, new pass equals blah, and go ahead and save it. And they email it. Before they email it back, they want to encrypt it. <laughs> They'll encrypt it. They'll use the same password. And they should probably have on the verify very good so we'll encrypt it and we're just going to pretend we're going to email it so it's being emailed back to here we'll replace it okay we'll double click it to open it pop in our password to decrypt it and we have a file with a change of uh, whatever our person on the other end of that email uh, made so so yeah I think that's uh, pretty awesome it's just a uh, you don't have to encrypt the whole hard drive you just encrypt you know things that you actually care about so computer gets lost stolen whatever fire I'm not that's fire but <laughs> fire is gone <laughs> yeah lost stolen um what else um you know you're trying to send stuff to somebody and you want to make sure it's encrypted this is a free little free little app little extension that just works really well and it's really easy so anyway thanks for watching bye